welcome everyone. My name is Martha Jenkins. We're here in the Half Moon Bay High Gym, affectionately known as Jimmy's Gym. And we're here with the illustrious coach, Rich Forslund. Mr. Forslund, thank you for coming out again tonight. Absolutely, you're quite welcome, Martha. All right, so last time you and I chatted, we were at a 12-0 record. Okay. Okay, a couple weeks go by, and now we are at 22-0. Holy cow. Tell me, what does that mean to you before we talk about going into league and playoff uh, games? Well, uh, it's, a, it's a good accomplishment to this point. Uh, we are beneficiaries of a, of a schedule and a league that's not particularly strong. We have played a, a number of teams that we thought were going to be uh, a bigger challenge and unfortunately have not been. I don't know if that's a testament to us or, or a combination thereof, but uh, it's, a, it's a good accomplishment so far, but we have our sights set on much bigger prizes. And that's not to downplay any of the ones that are coming up. We'd like to win league. So if we win tonight, we'll, be, we'll secure co-champions at least. And then we'd like to be undefeated again in league as we were last year. That would ha that will have to be Terra Nova to do that. We'd like to be back in the Open Division uh, CCS if we take care of business in the PAL playoffs. And I would say if we get to the championship game, I would expect us to fully be in the Open Division. If we got upset before then, then it could get a little diceier, which I hope doesn't happen. But I, I mean, I, I think we're definitely one of the best teams in the PAL. We're going to have to get, we're going to get an opportunity to go prove that. And then if we can advance the CCS Open, then that means we're guaranteed to play NorCal's, and that would be four years in a row, which is a huge accomplishment for any program. Unbelievable. And especially at Half Moon Bay, would be a, even I think a bigger accomplishment because based on the size of the school. Uh, and there's only been one other team that in, in CCS public schools that has accomplished that fact, and that's Woodside in the uh, mid to late 90s. They went four times in a row, and they're twice the size. Absolutely. So we have some big goals. To, uh, so we're doing everything we can to keep trying to play better and play at a higher level. That's really kind of the mission statement. That's been the mission statement from the get-go. Very good. The last game of the regular season is Terra Nova at home. Um, always a tough battle. Kenny, yes. Kenny Mulch, no stranger to Half Bay High School. What is the game plan? Uh, the game plan will be to try to use our uh, size uh, in, inside to take advantage of some of the mismatches I think we have. I think that's our, our strength. We would like to get out and run. It's a little more difficult at half of the day to run because the size of the floor isn't very long. Okay. It's, uh, I'm not even sure if it, I think it's 84 feet in length, but I'm, I'm not so certain of that. And uh, I, I think against them, uh, if we played them on a 94 foot court would be even better because we can get up and down, I think more so than they can. And last game, the biggest difference was when our defense played better, it led to transition points and easy baskets, and that's what kind of opened up the spread. So you can have a different court at a different high school? Yes. Yes. That's a so standard, standard size is 80, it's supposed to be 84 feet for high school, but I know there are some facilities that are a little smaller than that. Some are a little larger. Uh, Reardon High School, I think, is like 88 feet or something like that, and a college court is 90, college and NBA have the same okay. uh, length, 94 okay. feet. Now, I just think the, the style that we'd like to play is a little more up and down. Uh, it plays into some of our athleticism. Uh, I, I would like to play the game faster. It's just more enjoyable to be up and Absolutely. down. Absolutely. The, the kids get to do things more on the fly. I don't have to direct as much. It's just I think it's a more enjoyable way to play. Uh, but it's it's harder to run on a smaller of floor. Course. Right. So, the, our, you know, our our – we kind of pride ourselves on our defense, so we're going to have to get after it. I'm sure, you know, I'm hoping it'll be the biggest crowd half and base had oh, I'm sure it will. in quite some time. Sure it will. So speaking of defense, again, just playing outstanding defense, this team. So enjoyable to watch. Um, who, who is out, 
some of your outstanding players right now that, it, that you're happy with playing defense? Uh, well, Kalen Batstone has is, is done a phenomenal job. He's a very, very good defender. And Tommy Nuno is, he, he guards the other team's best player every game. Okay. So his, his defense, and then, you know, we have other, other guys that they've gotten better on defense. They still have a ways to go. We have very high standard on how we should play. Uh, the one difference this year in comparison of previous years with this team is I think we can probably be one of the better or better or best defensive teams because of our length. We are a lot bigger than we've ever been. Uh, we have a 6'6 kid, Austin Hilton. We have 6'7 in and, and Case, who's long-armed and very athletic. You have Tommy, the point guard, is 6'3. Uh, Jake Salonero plays in the backcourt with them, and he's six feet tall. And then Kalen's about 6'1". So you have everybody who's over six feet tall. Yeah, the last two years, uh, we had, no offense to them, but Corey and EJ are 5'5 five, mm -hmm. five and 5'9". Five, right. Corey 5'9", five, EJ 5'5". Five, five. It's a lot harder to be as effective at those sizes. Right. And so we have a lot more length. I think that's helped our defense because you, j you can cover more ground. Gotcha. Um, and then, of course, offensively, um, let's talk about a couple of players. Austin, again, just being really consistent. Yes. Um, he's your junior that you've been very pleased with. Biggest, he's the best rebounder on the team, offensively and defensively. Uh, he does a great job of scoring near the bucket. Uh, something for him he'll have to work on in the offseason is being able to shoot more on the perimeter, much like Case has been able to do. Right. And vice versa, Case has got to be able to score more around the bucket to help us down the road. Okay, very uh, good. And um, let's talk a little bit about Andrew um, Saffold. Okay. Okay, he had that coming out game at Terra Nova, came off the bench, out yep. of the spark. Played really well. Key buckets. Let's talk a little bit about him. Uh, he's gone through some sophomore ups and downs. It's a big transition, excuse me, to, to play at the varsity level. Uh, and he's coming from a, a program, he's coming from a frost off level, so it doesn't matter what program, but he's coming from a different program. So we use some different vocabulary. Uh, we, we do some things differently. And so it's a big transition. We have a lot more set plays that he has to be familiar with. And he has to learn those from multiple positions because he doesn't just play the point. When he's in sometimes with Tommy, Tommy still plays the point. And he plays the off guard. So he's having to learn at the one, at the two having her learn to defend like we're asking, there's a lot going on for him. Okay, but he's good. he's done, you know, for the most part, pretty well. He's hit a little lull now. I'm hoping he'll pick him back up again after that after the game. He played super against Terranova, but he's been offensively a little more erratic the last couple okay. games. So he, he needs to kind of step it up. I'm hoping he'll start doing that this evening. Very good. Okay, the big three, Tommy, Case, and Austin, along with Kalen, they play with a very strong bond. There's, a, yes. there's an incredible bonding to this team and I know team bonding is very important to you yes um, that you do a lot of it and we you do stress it not only from the players but from the players families yes. you guys have get-togethers yes so it's talk a big to, part of the culture talk, yeah talk to me about how important that is in the overall success of the well, team I, I just think when you have a strong chemistry it's a lot harder to quit on a teammate when things go poor when you have a sense that I've got to do everything I can to help my teammate and help and help the team, it's a m lot more uh, unselfish way to play. And I mean, the concepts we have on defense that go are one well, of the biggest thing we stress is passing the ball on offense. It's all about sharing. I'm a huge believer that shared su success is a lot more enjoyable than, yeah, absolutely. than toot your own horn and bragging about it. And uh, it even extends to the six-man, where then the, six the, man the school feels been, like they own it. Correct. Yeah. And that's, I think that's the beauty of high school athletics. I, I'm, I'm right there with you. Um, so you are one of two undefeated teams in the state of California right now, 22-0. Um, I, be, I believe the other team is 21-0 down in L.A. Happens okay. to be the number one ranked team in the state. Oh, is that, Max is that modern, modern day? Or no, it's oh, um, Sierra Canyon. Uh, Fairfax. Oh, Fairfax. Wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, they're really good. They're very good. Um, is that meaningful to be the, one of two undefeated teams in the state? or? It, to me, it's really not that meaningful, yeah. to be quite honest. It's 
I'm sure it has some meaning, but I have a different perspective. I've had an opportunity to coach three different times at the state level, state championship level game, not in the state tournament. So my expectations are much higher. It's, it's great what we've done so far. You know, we've won every game. That You can't ask them to do better than that. Mm -hmm. However, it's a long class. That's right. <laughs> we're in the we're we're at basically midterms almost. Okay. And we have a lot more to accomplish. And the and the 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 final test testing is going to be a lot tougher than so the first part of the semester. Yeah, yeah. So I would yeah, say. Yeah. Absolutely. So having uh, one loss, do you think that in any way would help them? Not presently. Okay. Because we haven't played anybody. I thought we weren't better than. Right. If we play someone that we're that we're not as good at after I see them. And, and we happen to lose that game, I'm fine with that. Right. As long as we play close to what we're capable of doing. That's gotcha. all we're trying to stress. We're not um, outcome driven. Okay. We're actually way more process driven. If we're doing what we need to do, everything else will fall in place. Gotcha. And we'll take it as far as we can. Okay, so what's been the highlight of the season for you so far? I would say the win over uh, St. Patrick's okay. is the biggest highlight because they were the best team in terms of record right. that we've played. Mm -hmm. We've had other good highlights. We won the Burlingame Tournament second year in a row. That's a big accomplishment. Mm -hmm. I mean, winning the Kings Academy Tournament four years in a row. Mm -hmm. You know, those are, those are nice to continue to do that. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Okay. But St. Patrick's is the best team. They had Excellent. lost only to De La Salle and okay. El Cerrito, uh -huh. who are probably going to be a great chance to be an open division, mm -hmm. Northern California, California. open mm -hmm. division. Uh, uh, contenders. Very so. good. So you've been coaching 100, 150 years now, and <laughs> every year, you know, I'm sure you learn something. I, I look all right then for 100 years. You look great. <laughs> Fantastic. I say stick with it. <laughs> what have you learned this year? That you, have you learned something new? Is there something that you go, okay? Uh, I haven't, I wouldn't say anything revolutionary yet. I'm sure as the season progresses, We'll, we'll, there'll probably be some things that we'll glean. Okay. Uh, I, I, the one thing I have learned just by watching the landscape is we have as good of a chance as anyone to advance to the, in the state level. Great. By far. We and have by state level, are you talking NorCal? No, I'm talking Beyond. going all the way to the state okay. championship game. All right. And I have never said that before here. All right. Well, um, thank you again, Coach Rich. Before, we look forward before, to, um, to the county... Um, playoffs is going beyond. I also want to thank your wife, who you are a big fan of, <laughs> yes, I Miss Jan, yes. for allowing you these many hours no in the gym. Okay. Thanks a lot. Good Appreciate luck to that. you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Thanks again. Bye-bye.